Hey friends, today we are going to be going a little further on our shadow box idea, but not just any shadow box. Today we are going to be making the home of the family Madrigal from Encanto. The house from Encanto is probably my favorite part of the whole movie. We just moved into a new house, and so I thought a shadow box of the Casita Madrigal would look pretty epic on our shelf. So we're going to be building it and show you how to make it at home. Hey, my name's Tom, and welcome to Party Create. Just FYI, if you are new to shadow boxes, you can catch our last video, a super simple one, in the link below. Today's video, I'm really nerding out, so this project may be more suitable for kids 11 and up, as you'll be using a craft knife and glue. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter to get your free PDF of the Casita Madrigal that you can use for this project. It's sized for an 8x10 frame, which is what we'll be using. If you're a Cricut user, you can also use this file to build your own template. And if you're looking for a less detailed or easier version of the Encanto house for younger kids, we've also included a simpler PDF that's for scissors in a paper-only project. So sign up to get these freebies as well as an epic newsletter for families full of coloring pages, tutorials, events, and a ton more. All right, let's get going. Here's what you'll need for this project. A cutting board, butterfly foldback clips, a foam board, a ruler, a craft knife, LED lights, glue, a pencil, art pad cardstock paper, the provided templates, and a deep shadow box frame. All right, the first thing I did to start this project was create the house in Photoshop. It has six layers with a blank layer in the back. If you're interested in learning how to draw on the computer, I use Photoshop and my Wacom tablet. I'll include links to these tools below. Print out these files to size and begin your shadow box. Cut your templates down to the correct size. If you have a guillotine paper cutter, they are great for a straight cut. If not, just use your craft knife and a metal or wooden ruler. Be careful to keep your fingers out of the way of the blade. Next, take your cardstock and cut it down to the exact same size as your template. And that's why coffee's for grown-ups. You can trace or measure to cut, just make sure it's as close as possible because your layers need to fit the shadow box or light will leak through the outside edges. Once everything is cut, attach your cardstock layers to your layer templates using the fold back clips. To begin tracing with your knife, start with the smaller details like windows before cutting out the large chunks so that your paper doesn't twist or tear. Once you're done with the details and the big chunks, cut out the outside edge. Make sure you have enough space on the outside edges so that it's not too flimsy. A quarter inch is great depending on the thickness of your paper. Once you're done tracing, you can take off your template and start the fun part, cleaning the cuts on the cardstock layer. There'll be big pieces that won't come off with your original trace, so you'll need to go back and cut what didn't go through. Don't try to pull on the hanging pieces, just patiently cut until something comes loose. Now, this can be really time consuming, but so satisfying when you finally cut it all out. Once you finish your layers, you can start overlaying them to see what it looks like. Make any cuts to fix anything that doesn't match up. Keep in mind that there will be space between each layer, so the perspective will change when you put it all together. Let's start on our spacers. We'll place foam spacers along the outside edges to separate each layer. 
measure and cut each spacer to fit along the outside edges of each layer, but thin enough to keep them hidden. You'll have quite a few of these when you're done. And now it's time to put it all together. I'm using craft glue to keep these layers from shifting around. Once you've placed all your layers, it's time to attach the LEDs to your back. The back of our frame is brown, so I simply glued a piece of white paper to the inside so that it would reflect more light. I then pasted as many LED lights as I could on the lower half to make the light appear like it's coming out the front door. I also notched a small hole at the bottom for the wire to fit through. Fit your back and lock it in place. You are officially ready to see the Encanto of the Casita Madrigal. Well, there you have it, the home of the family Madrigal. I hope that you learned something new today and had a great time making your own shadow box. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe. Well, that's all for us today. Until next time, we'll see you soon, party people.